So in this example, so yeah, you have 80. It's negative. So you break it, so you separate it. And then 80, I can separate into 16 times 5 times negative 1. Would everybody agree if you plugged them into your calculator and checked it, that would still give you negative 80? Yes? OK. What's nice about this, though, is now we can just take the square roots of these separately. The square root of 16 is 4. I don't know what the square root of 5 is, or I can't, appro I can't simplify that unless I'm approximating. And then the square root of negative 1 is i. However, even though I wrote the last example as, what was the last example, 12i, whenever you're dealing with a radical, it's a very common mistake that students will carry this over. Okay, So to avoid that mistake, when, we're, when we have a radical in our answer and an i, we prefer to write it like this. We prefer to have 4i squared of 5. It's OK. This is still correct. But we don't want you to make the mistake of putting the square root sign over the i, because that would be wrong. It's not square root of i. It's i. So therefore, we write it like this, 4i squared of 5. Does that make sense? OK. And 